The experience is absolutely amazing. I've heard Mr. Harrison's name uh, since he's been very famous in the United States. So when I saw his name, I was like, okay, then it might be a very interesting project to be in, and I'm glad that I am here eventually. It's a pleasure for me to work and participate in this initiative because you are a part of this initiative and the responsibility is big because you are representing your nation's pain and you must do it in such a way so that it reaches the audience. It is very interesting music and when you listen to the music you imagine yourself to be floating and you become disconnected from the earth, from the world. It's really interesting to see because um, he sees the work like as a complete work of art, mm -hmm. not like steps. And he says like, okay, do this. And you have to like make his vision a reality. And sometimes it's really hard. Like it, the steps seem impossible to you and then you do them and you do them and you're like, oh, this is possible. And I was thinking like, that's the difference between like an artist and just someone who like makes steps. Very interesting because uh, there are a lot of country, a lot of technique, a lot of. It's very, very good to work here and uh, with Japan, Israel. It's very interesting because uh, it's not the same technique and it's good for body to work here and with Rudolf, he's a very good teacher. Uh, the experience is amazing, especially here it's really nice because the people are really kind, helpful, so I feel really friendly in this company. Uh, you have to be concentrated on this work and try strong and hard every day because it's really difficult. Strength, agility and grace collide with history in a new ballet production called Two Sons led by the inimitable dancer, choreographer and artist Rudolf Haradjian. This new ballet that will be incorporated as part of the program of events dedicated to the centenary of the Armenian Genocide this year and with the support of the Ballet 2021 Development Foundation features an international company of dancers. The rhythms of Naregatsi's celestial words from his Book of Lamentations the brilliant colors and composition of Taurus Rosland's illuminated miniature paintings, Arshil Gorky's abstract canvases are showcased through dance and complemented by Armenian music from the 4th through 21st centuries, including Mashdots, Naregatsi, Aram Khachadurian, Alen Hovanes, Arno Babajanian, and others. I started this project 40 years ago. 40 years ago, four zero years ago, and uh, there was time when I was just dreaming about the Narakatsi. He became for me like the one who you can follow all your life. In the Book of Lamentation, he talks about many secrets, and I was <clears throat> very thrilled to start something, and I was young and very uh, emotional and very eager to do something. But kind of, he didn't let me do it. The performance was almost ready, and uh, but something prevented it to happen on the stage. He was guiding me toward this secret knowledge, and I get into this, and then the ballet opened himself and revealed many secrets that I was the whole my life I was in a ballet but before that I couldn't imagine that ballet has all these secrets in it. By fusing the past and the present, this unique production will present Armenia's creative legacy through the prism of the 21st century. 
Haradian hopes it will become an innovative, timeless and universal work of art. Second time I tried to do this in Washington when I was teaching and doing choreography there. But still there was something not completed yet. And I hope this time I'm doing actually this, that third time uh, I will finish this and uh, I'll give it to, to the world because it's not only, it doesn't belong to Armenians only, it belongs to the humanity. Rudolf Haradian says that this production represents the Armenian nation's millennial existence, survival, continued growth and development, and will serve the important mission of self-discovery and national self-awareness. It has taken Haradian almost four decades to bring this idea to the stage. When I was young, I was thinking, oh, uh, how it happened. Now I'm sorry, I'm blaming myself and my, uh, my nation. How it could happen? In my ballet, it's only the small episode. I will show uh, connected with uh, Archil Gorky when he's remembering his mother and he sees the scene of this, uh, the genocide. Uh, and the audience will see. But for me, it's not the main thing. The main thing is that we exist and we created some values and we are going to create and we have to participate in this human creation and be part of this big picture of the family, of the human families. The genocide is just an episode in that long... But still, I'm wondering how it could happen. Why? Why? Why we were so uh, closed or not, not bright enough to predict that it's going to happen? How? I, I'm not... I'm not it makes me very sad sometimes, it makes me very emotional and still I don't have the answer why, why, how it happened. The premiere of Two Sons will take place on May 27 and 31 and June 11 and 12 in Yerevan. The four premiere performances will also feature guest principal dancers from Washington DC and Stuttgart in the leading roles. <laughs>